Hello friends and welcome back to another episode here on the channel. For anyone that's new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today we're going to be continuing on with our Series 7 content featuring this team that you can see on the screen in front of you right now, consisting of that Lander Asterian form, the Cartana, Reggie Rock, Glarian, Moltres, Togunamaru, and Tapu Fini. Now, the team centers around Reggie Rock. It is the star of the show. There are some other big hairs on the team, obviously, with that Galarian Moltres. But the team consists of basically two mods. You either go with the Galarian Moltres, with the Togunamaru, with the Vault Switch to proc the weakness policy. You've got the Lightning Rod as well to kind of protect against opposing electric attacks from things like Reggie Alecki, Thunderous, Tapu Koko. There's a long list of electric types that are now viable in the format that would threaten both the Glarian Moltres and the Tabu Fini. So the Togunamaru are playing a very nice role there, obviously with fake out support, nuzzle support, with that speed control there, additionally to the airstream that you've got on the Glarian Moltres. Really nice option there for the team. Now the Reggie Rock is just a tank in itself. We'll get into the team and the details and the different mods as we get into the couple of battles, but Generally speaking, I've played a few games with it already and it is an incredible Pokemon and very slept on at the minute and something I think a lot of you should take a look at if you haven't already and definitely give it a try. And talking about giving it a try, we will have a rental team at the end of this episode. So if you want to check the team out, do stick around till the end and I will throw it up there and you can try it out for yourselves. Alternatively, there is a poker paste down in the description below if you want to take a look at the details of the team a bit closer then be my guest or just jump on showdown with it. So we'll get into it. We'll have a couple of games with the team right now. And like I say, we'll throw up the rental team. So without further ado, friends, let's jump into this one today. So our first opponent of the episode is Marco running a team of Landorus Therian Form, Bishop, Reggie Alecki, Rillaboom, Entai and Tapu Fini. So a pretty solid team there. You've got a, a solid Firewater Grass Call with the Rillaboom, the Entai and the Tapu Fini. Obviously the immunity to Intimidate probably on the Inner Focus Entai there. Uh, Reggie Alecki providing very fast support, speed control support, screen support, uh, potentially there with Electro Web, Light Screen, etc. And then you've got the Bishop there that's going to play off are intimidated so it kind of mitigates the the ability for us to freely use that and then they're on landorus as well so what are we going to do i think um hmm Togunamaru is a nice lead for us generally because we've got the faster fake out than our opponent so we can you can utilize that for sure um it's just we need a way to hit we need a way to uh, really hit the, the bishop for good damage early on. Now, Reggie Rock doesn't do a too bad job there. Um, obviously, with clear body as well, we're not really threatened too much by the potential, I think, uh, Intimidate. I think we're going to need Tapu Fini as well. It sounds crazy, but I think we need it to prevent the burn from the entire on our Reggie Rock and really slow us down. Um, and then I think Cartana maybe or our own Landorus. Probably Cortana, honestly. I think Cortana is really nice here. So we'll go with Cortana in that last one. And we'll go for this. Landorus would be really good here. Just for the Regieleki. But outside of that, I don't know if it's really providing us with too much support. So just for that one reason, it's going to hinder us against the Bishop. Now, I think we've got better ways to get around it. So we'll get into this first one and see how we can do. Hopefully we can pick up a win here. This would be ideal. We've got Landorus and Bishop which makes sense um and we've got togramaru and reggie rock okay well let's see what are our options here i mean we can fake out the landorus or is it likely gonna max could max for sure um i'm kind of tempted honestly to go volt switch into the bishop the only issue is if i double in on bishop they could just protect bishop and then go earthquake which would be very bad very bad for us but i think um this might be all right this might be all right i think i'm going to double into the bishop if we can get rid of the bishop it'll be very very useful for us we are going to see their landorus max i would assume it's the landorus and not the bishop so we'll probably see a max quake into our reggie rock now whether or not they go into reggie rock maybe suspecting a weakness policy i don't know i don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see but Regardless, <clears throat> it is going to do a ton of damage, but at the same time, we should be able to take it. And they may just double into Reggie Rock here. Maybe. 
I could see them protecting maybe Bishop as well, which would be bad because just because of the fake out pressure that we've got here. Um, but we'll soon find out. Sucker punch. So we're going to see the sucker into the Togodomaru. Uh, we'll get the Volt Switch off. So breaking a potential Sash there, getting Togodomaru off the field for later on, which would be useful, especially if Regieleki is sitting in the back. And I think we will get... Hmm... Yeah, let's get Cartana onto the field. Outspeeds Landorus. They may go max airstream, but it's not the most optimal play here, I don't think. Yeah, the Quake coming out into Reggie Rock. Okay, no, into Cartana. Ooh, and we just about hang on <laughs> as they get the special defense boost, which is fine. We'll get the max knuckle off which is going to allow us to take down this bishop, get a plus one as well, and put us in an extremely strong position going into turn two, where we're going to be able to have the option to either go for the lander as pick up the knockout there with a max hailstorm, which might be a nice way to um, really kind of turn the tide of this battle quite quickly. Or depending on what comes in, um, attack straight into that. So we'll see, we'll see. Might be worth keeping Cartona around for the late game as well, honestly. But it's all about what my opponent brings in now, as it always is in these Pokemon battles. So Entai coming onto the field. Okay, well now we need Tapu Fini. So I think we switch. We keep Cartona, switch Tapu Fini in. Get a Misty Terrain up so we mitigate any Sacred Fire damage. And we'll go for that Max Hailstorm into the Lando. And uh, plus one Max Hailstorm no trouble at all taking this Landorus down. Um, and even if it's sashed, because we don't know if the Bishop was sashed or not. Landorus could be sashed. Who knows? It's probably a Salt Vest, though, I would imagine. Uh, it seems to be the more common item that we're seeing on it at the moment. we have just seen an extreme speed from the Entai, which is interesting. And then the Quake again, which is going to be into Reggie Rock, I would imagine, this time, yeah. But... Look at that thick, thick boy. <laughs> Reggie Rock taking that like a champ. I mean, that is incredibly good, isn't it? Uh, and like I say now, it, it, it's life orb. I should have noticed that turn one. I should have noticed that turn one. A lot going on though. So um, we do get the, yep, Lander is there. So Reggie Rock absolutely killing it right now. End time, not really got too much you can do. Now, the one thing that would worry me a little bit would be the Rillaboom. Uh, coming onto the field now, uh, especially because we don't have that Intimidate that we talked about in the team preview being very useful. Even though a lot of the team on my opponent's end are kind of immune to it, either through Inner Focus or Defiant. Um, <clears throat> the Rillaboom will cause us a few issues. Now, if it's anything other than the Rillaboom, I think we've got a pretty easy way to... Uh, it's Regieleki. Perfect. Okay, that is... That's ideal. Now we can just remove... What we'll do is... I'll bring in Togunamaru, and we'll just go for Max Rockfall into Entai. And I'm hoping the Entai goes after um, the Regieleki here. We see the Vault Switch there, pulled in by the Togunamaru's Lightning Rod, which is perfect. And Stomping Tantrum, yeah, ideal. That's perfect. I mean, look how thick Reggie Rock is. It's so strong. It's lit. It's so strong. So strong. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of the Entai. And that will throw up the Sandstorm. We're both immune to it. It'll chip a Sash on the Regieleki. And this wraps it up pretty nicely. I don't know if Regieleki will have Protect or not. But it may do. We've got the Fake Out option now. Where we can just go Fake Out and um, Body Press if we want. Or Rock Slide. Whichever one we want. But the Leftovers is really nice on Reggie Rock. Man, I'm going to have to charge my controller as well. I need my lead. Okay. Well, friends, you'll have to bear with me. Two seconds. I don't want my... Uh, Control it, run out. I'll, I'll start plugging it in as we go fake out. And let's just go for the the rock slide. I don't think they've got a way to really beat um, Togo tomorrow anyway. So that's super fine. And we do pick up a nice win. So with that, very good game to my opponent. And we'll jump into our next one. Okay, we've got our next opponent playing a team of Heatran. Comfy. Galarian Moltres, Reggie Alecki, Garchomp, and Tapu Fini. So, once again, it feels like Reggie Rock can do a really good job here. You've got to be a bit careful around the Tapu Fini Garchomp, of course, but the rest of the team, 
I think we're we're not too bad against, in all honesty. Um, Tugunamaru are going to be very, very good here as well. Just with the fake out support, the lightning rod support against Regieleki, of course. And uh, the, the offensive pressure that we can put on Moltres and the Tapu Fini. Both of which, Tugunamaru add speeds, which is one of the other plus points about playing it as well. Now, I do think we bring uh, Landorus to this match, 100%. Um... So, I think what we'll do is we'll lead Togremaru. Um I'm kind of tempted to bring Moltres as a lead, but at the same time, I think we'll just bring Reggie Rock as a lead. Yeah, we'll bring Reggie Rock. We'll bring Landorus, and I think our last Pokemon is going to be either Tapu Finny. Tapu Finny's really not bad here. Like, if we can get rid of the Reggie Alecki. Tapu Finney does a great job against Garchomp, Moltres, Heatran, so... Uh, but you could say the same thing about uh, Cortana. I think I'm going to go Cortana, you know. I feel like Cortana's just, yeah. With the Scope Lens as well. It's such a good Pokemon. And we are playing the uh, Substitute set on it as well. So you can create situations where uh, you can bring it in against, say, uh, Tapu Finney. And you know the Tapu Finney is going to switch out. So that's the situation where you create, you put down the substitute. It's really nice. It gives you a little bit of room and guarantees you at least one turn against something coming in um, where you can take a big, big attack. You know, something like um, Heatran coming in like now. Now, Heatran is a bit awkward to play against because obviously it's a, a very strong special type attacker. Um, I think what we could potentially do... Hmm. Probably want to Volt Switch out. I think the Regieleki will probably stay in and go for screens. Screen support, maybe. Now we could just Volt Switch out on Heatran. And we could just go Max Rockfall into Regieleki. Because that's the big problem. Like, if we get rid of Regieleki, it makes it a lot easier for the rest. Like, the rest of this game becomes a lot easier. Uh, yeah, let's go for that. Let's go for that. Because we've got Landorus in the back that can help us with the, the Heatran and the Regieleki. So, it's, you know. Get some damage onto the Heatran. And imagine the Heatran is the one that's going to max here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You may see Steel Spike as well. Like, max Steel Spike would be something we could definitely see. Now, Heatran is picking up a lot of popularity recently, and, like, it is a dangerous Pokemon. You can't, like, underestimate it at all. It's very, very dangerous. Um, it'll be interesting to see what the Regieleki goes for. I imagine it's kind of pinned at this point in time. Like, it either protects if it's got it, or it goes for screens. Like, screen support would make a lot of sense, especially with Heatran, like, Reflect. It's a nice combination. Huh. Okay, not realizing the lightning rod, unfortunately for my opponent, I've gone for the Volt Switch, so we are able to kind of pin it in, um, and hopefully now we can remove it from the field. And Togunamaro switching out. Now, what do we bring in? We can't bring in Cartana for sure. We'll bring in Landorus, and we'll go from there. Because Landorus at least puts on a bit of offensive pressure on that, that um, the Heatran the next turn. Yeah, that's a Steel Spike. And into Reggie Rock. Man, it does so much damage. It does so much damage. So we're in we're in danger of getting taken down this next turn. For sure. Now, whether or not we want to stay in or switch out... ...is another thing. But we get rid of the... Oh, we're not quite enough. Not quite enough to get rid of it. But... We can Max Guard Earthquake this next turn. Because the Regieleki either has to switch out. And we are a Salt Vest Lander, so we will be able to take <clears throat> an attack from the Heatran. They have got the uh, the plus one defense though, which is definitely helping them. And I imagine maybe there's a Shuka Berry on the, the Heatran, you know. Back in like 2000, well, whatever format the Heatran was always popular in, you know. Um, it was always... You always saw maybe, like, the, the most popular item was Shuka on it. So, it wouldn't surprise me if we see that here. Do you see the Regieleki protect? Regirock protect. Heatran not protecting. How much is this earthquake going to do? Not quite enough. 
to take it down the next turn. But we do see just another Steel Spike into Reggie Rock. Um, now it might be worth actually preserving Reggie Rock for later on this game. And we've got like an option where we could bring in maybe Togodomaru here. I think we could probably get away with it. Rock, like Earthquake and Togodomaru. Because we've got the Sash. So worst case scenario, we'll, we'll take Togodomaru down to our Sash. Regardless. I just don't want to lose Reggie Rock. And like, we're leaving it in here. We'd leave it in here. We can't Earthquake. So we're not going to be doing any damage to the Heatran. <clears throat> And we just end up losing Reggie Rock anyway. So, really, I think Togodomaru is a little bit more maybe expendable. Um, and the Heatran now in range for another Earthquake. So, whether or not they... Like, it, it'll depend what the Heatran does here. Does it attack into Landorus or does it go after the Reggie Rock? I would think Reggie Rock's the, the thing that it probably goes for. The Seal Spike. Yeah, so that's that's fine. Now we get the opportunity to bring in Cortana, which is, which is a nice play to come in now um, and I think even a rock slide would probably take down the Heatran this is the thing about Heatran as well like it's one of those Pokemon like Reggie Rock can kind of go toe to toe with but at the same time not because a special defense isn't as big as what you kind of hope it would be um Okay, well, Tapu Fini coming onto the field, which is fine. Um, I think we probably need to go Sacred Sword into Heatran. And maybe we could pivot out with Landorus into Tapu Fini. Now, the issue would be if Tapu Fini has got Icy Wind. Now, that would be a problem. Yeah, the Finny just protecting here. So this is fine. Like, this is a bit of a dead turn for Landorus, but the, the fact of the matter is we get the, the Heatran no matter what, and we don't have to lock ourselves into Earthquake at this point. So my opponent down to the last two Pokemon. We take the Heatran down, get the Beast Boost, which guarantees us to pick up the Knockout onto Finny this next turn. We're not going to get the U-turn, but we still have the option um, to Cycle Intimidate if we need to, if we're in a really bad spot. Um, and we'll see what my opponent does for their last one. It is Garchomp. Okay. Garchomp. Well, we can take down the Finny. I think we'll go for a U-turn into the Garchomp. Uh, we'll go for the Leaf Blade into the Finny. And we'll cycle that Intimidate. And there's very little chance of a Garchomp beating a Landorus. And um, unfortunately for Garchomp, as much as I love it as a Pokemon... Once you start cycling those Intimidates, it's uh, it's very difficult to kind of claw back any momentum. But Garchomp's such a cool Pokemon. You know, I have such fond memories of, like, early formats in VGC where Garchomp... Oh, it's Scarfed. Oh! <laughs> this could be tricky. There's one flinch. That's all you need. That's all you need. Okay. This is where it gets a little bit rough because Garchomp Scarfed is an issue. Um, especially when Cortana is like a thing that we need to deal with Tapu Fini. We might lose this down to Scarf Garchomp. I might have spoke far too soon. <clears throat> Muddy Water. Oh, Cortana should take this. We'll take a good chunk of damage though for our troubles. And we should take one more Rock Slide. But I don't really want to switch in. I just, I've just not got to flinch. That's all. That's all. That's all. We just can't flinch. Can't flinch. I'm going to stay in and I'm going to Ice Punch because I don't think a Garchomp Rock Slide will get either. Either of my Pokemon on the field right now. Ooh, but they protect. They protect. Okay. Well, as long as Reggie Rock doesn't flinch here, then we should be fine because we get the, the, ice, the Ice Punch off and it will pick up the knockout. Cut on a double flinch. But Reggie Rock coming through with the Ice Punch. It is enough. There we go. Come on. This is all about Reggie Rock. So the, <laughs> the king, the king has returned. Here we go. And now we can get that leaf blade off unaffected. But yeah, Garchomp Scarfed is something not to underestimate, especially late game. You know, those flinch. It's like a flinch machine. Honestly, if you think Landorus is good, Scarf Landorus with Rock Slide, if you think that's good, then 
Look at Garchomp. Scarf Garchomp with Rock Slide. It's got like probably one of the highest flinch rates I've ever seen of a Pokemon. Um, it's a very, like you'll know, Paul. Paul Chua has a very good track record with the <laughs> Scarfed Rock Slide Garchomp. He's got like that magic touch to getting those, uh, those flinches. He's an extremely good player, don't get me wrong. And like one of the best players in the world by a long way. And I think he does content now over on Twitch. So uh, do, do check him out. He's a very good player though. But I've seen many a game with Paul where he, he does like that Scarf Garchomp. And uh, does the trick most of the time for him with those flinches. Anyway. That's another story for another time. We're gonna get the rental team for you guys now. So we'll hop over there and uh, we'll have a look at this rental team for you. Okay, friends, here it is. Here is the rental code for this episode's team. The Lander is Theorin with the Assault Vest, the Reggie Rock with the Leftovers, the Curse Set there, the Togonomaru Focus Sash. Then we've got Cartano with that Scope Lens. We did get to see it today. The Moltres we didn't get to see too much of, but it has got the weakness policy. You get the gist of it. We've played Moltres on the channel before, an extremely good option in the team, especially if Reggie Rock isn't feeling like the most optimal thing to bring in some games and then the tapu finny which rounds off the team now tapu finny can be changed the set can be changed i just kind of personally prefer the calm mindset because it can save you games in really bad situations you get one calm mind off and it can kind of snowball from there so for that i really like it especially with the fake out lightning rod support from the toga tomorrow but that wraps it up my friends i hope you've enjoyed today's episode i really do hope you enjoy the team and if i leave anything in your minds from today's episode is to give reggie rock a go because it is in my opinion probably the best reggie not understatement there i think it's genuinely a such a good a pokemon we didn't get to see as much of it as i'd want today but it is an incredible Pokemon. Now I do have some other content that I was planning on doing around this team. I've got about four or five matches that I did practice prior to this episode. Um, so I was thinking about maybe just throwing them up on the channel. If you'd like to see those episodes with maybe a voiceover from myself, do let me know. And you can see some more games with this team and see it performing. There's a lot of games where the Moltres is doing a lot more work than we've seen today. So do let me know down in the comment section below. And I will make sure to put that up as soon as possible. But thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. Do consider subscribing to the channel if you've enjoyed this content. And uh, you'd like to see more of it. And um, that will do. Take care of yourselves. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you all for another episode soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.